I'm Lauren from laurenslatest.com and today we're making hard boiled eggs in our pressure cooker. So the first thing we're going to do is add some water to our pressure cooker. So I have about two cups of cold water that I'm just gonna pour in. We are actually steaming our eggs, so we don't want them touching the water we just added in, so that's why we add the rack. So when you place your rack, you just wanna make sure that the water is below it. So when you place your eggs in, they won't be touching the water. So the great thing about this method is you can use cold water, you can use eggs straight from the fridge. There's nothing fancy about this. Just tuck this little guy right in here. So it's okay if a couple of them are touching, um, but I think the most important thing to remember about this is you don't wanna stack them up high. As long as you have a nice even layer across the bottom of your rack, then you're good to go. So we're gonna add our lid on. Let's line up our arrows here. So we go from our unlock to our lock. So once your eggs are in there and your lid is on, we're going to steam our eggs for four minutes. And then after the four minutes, we're gonna let them sit in there, not touching them, for five minutes. And then they're done. So our eggs have cooked for four minutes and we've let them sit in the pressure cooker for another five. Now I'm gonna release the pressure and let them loose. So I don't think there's much pressure left in here, but we'll see. Oh, there's a little bit. All right, so now we're gonna open our pressure cooker and transfer our steamed eggs to our water bath. All right, so I like to shift my eggs around to make sure they're all submerged. Uh, the quicker you can cool them down, the quicker you can peel them. So I would probably keep my eggs in two minutes or so. They can be a little bit warm as you're handling them. You just want to burn your fingers. We're gonna crack gently the entire shell all the way around the egg and then use the side of our hand, not our nails or anything, but the side of our thumb to gently peel it away. Do you see that? It's perfect. And that's why I love using a pressure cooker. Boom. Perfect egg. So, take a look at that. It's a bright yellow yolk, and there's no ring around that yolk. Sometimes, if you've overcooked them, you'll get a gray, or it almost looks like a dark blue sometimes. It's like a ring that you get all around your yolk. I'm just gonna add a little salt and pepper. So just like that, in nine minutes total, you have the perfectly cooked egg that you don't have to pull your hair out every time you make them. For this recipe and more, go to laurenslatest.com.